Hello Aries, it's Sunny, and this is your October 2016 reading. Hopefully you guys can have a very enlightened month. Keep in mind that these are just general readings. Uh, please watch your rising, your sun, and your moon signs for more accuracy. And if you like a personal reading with me, please check out the uh, link below. That's Tim website. Please forgive me for doing this late. It's honestly very, very hard for me to record without any excess background music. Not background music, background noise. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I am going to do things a bit different with the layout. So, hope you guys like that. I honestly feel like this month is going to be very tipsy turvy um, for better or for worse. I mean, you can say it how you want to. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up eggplant. Um, some of you, the focus may be on your sex life. Uh, maybe you are eating more vegetables during this time, like you just want to live a more healthier lifestyle. I feel like that's going to be a strong connection to purples. I said this for a particular sign, maybe the Geminis, maybe the Geminis or the Tauruses. I can't rem yeah, the Tauruses, I believe, I believe. I may be wrong. Maybe you have Taurus in your chart, or this may be something going on between Tauruses and Aries because you guys are right beside each other. So, yeah. Um, I, I feel like this month is very promising for future goals, but I feel like you guys are going to have to have the carriage to start them. I feel like this month is going to be filled with a lot of starts. And I'm also hearing breakups. I'm picking up on the tower energy. So there may be some issues where things are shaking up in your life for better or for worse. Or I just feel like, you know, things may not go as planned or you're going to have to go with the plan B or there may be some rescheduling going on. But I feel like, you know, it's all happening for a reason. It's making you a wiser person and it's allowing for you to understand like what's truly more important in life. Um, I am picking up that there's a big emphasis on family and control. Be careful of you trying to control family dynamics during this time or it's like a bit of empowerment. I am picking up on the Empress, which is not, no, the Empress and the Emperor. The Emperor is representation of you guys. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Taurus or you have strong Taurus in your chart. You may be born near the corpse of Taurus because Taurus is um, ruled by Venus. I'm not sure if another planet is, to be honest. Um, if, if it is, I'll type it below. But um, I feel like, you know, there may be some stubborn energy in regards to love. Some of you, it's just like you want a better solution in regards to your love life. But I am picking up that you guys just honestly need to, I don't know why I'm picking up close a chapter. Like, understand what's going on on or what's going wrong with the relationship and try your best to settle it like adults i am picking up that this is gonna be really good time for just like honestly settling things like just settle 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 whether you're settling down or you're coming to terms that you are settling for less um things are going to be very apparent in regards to settle i'm also picking up that many of you you may be looking for new jobs during this time I feel like there's some what is it it's like a lot of words just popped in my head when I was started talking about career um I feel like there's gonna be some issues in regards to your career like you feel very anxious and some of you may not be happy with your current career and it's like you want something more creative you want something that I don't know why I'm picking up. Maybe some of you like you're looking for fame or you want some sort of popularity. You want to gain something in regards to your career. Some of you are looking for more money during this time. I do feel like there's a lot of frustration. I, I mean, I don't know if it's like you guys aren't really happy with what you do or it's the environment. I feel like it's either one of the two, to be honest. Um, please be careful of any car problems during this time. I am picking up that some of you, um, you may be thinking of purchasing a car. I'm hearing lemons. Be careful of you buying lemons uh, for cars. Some of you may be buying more lemons or yellow items during this time. Um, maybe you are attracted to lemon flavored things or lemon scents. Um, okay, I feel like a lot of you need to detox since I'm picking up on lemons. 
All right, so October 2016 for um, Aries. Important message for Aries for October 2016. How will Aries view the month of October 2016? I feel like a lot of you, like you're going to be praying this month, to be honest. Aries, ooh, Aries career. For October 2016, Aries career for October 2016. Some of you, I don't know why I'm picking up. You may have beef with somebody. Like, you may not really care too much for a particular person or somebody's feeling this way with you. I feel like somebody is giving you a hard time. And I feel like, you know, this is just how this person is, to be honest. But in a way, it's a bit of jealousy. I will say that much so just try your best to calm this down mm, no you too all right what was I doing what was I doing I'm I'm sorry you guys like honestly when I really say it's hard for me to record without any distractions or background noise I really mean that what was I doing? Okay, so I did Aries career, love life, Aries love life for October 2016. I don't know why I'm picking up on a ring. Um, this may be in regards to wedding rings. Some of you guys are thinking about marriage or like I'm picking up boxing ring. Maybe you guys are really working out during this time. Be careful of fighting and competition. Or maybe you're just getting into boxing. All right, so Aries. Oh, 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 let me not do that. Aries finances for October 2006. Okay, these two cards popped out. Luckily, I did not see them. Okay, so I'm going to take that, but then I'm going to pull an extra card. Aries finances for October 2016. All right. Then I'm going to pull some clarifiers. Aries career. First card on the top. Aries love life for October 2016. Aries finances for October 2016. Okay. What should Aries um, be aware of? What should Aries be aware of for October 2016? Alright, so... Important message for you guys for October 2016. Wisdom. Interesting. This is the Hierophant. So I am picking up that um, some of you, I'm, I don't know why I'm picking up leaving the nest. But I don't, I mean some of you may be leaving home during this time. You may be going out on your own. Uh, maybe you're doing your own thing uh, you're finding out who you are I feel like there's a new persona about you like you're discovering something brilliant um, or you're doing a lot of research but with this I just feel like you guys you're coming to realize like family because I, I don't know why I'm picking up this as a family card even if even though this is the Hierophant like a strong family vibe just took over me and like there is family in the background I feel like you guys have the determination to do what you want to do and to leave behind something I know you guys have been dealing with this whole family issue family drama family karma whatever um, for a good while but I feel like this month is going to be really important for you guys to honestly let that go I am picking up that there's uh, talks of random cutting hair or balding like maybe you are fearful of your hair thinning or like you're just bald in certain areas and you just don't like that too much I don't know why I heard of Frank there may be a strong uh, message for a Frank I'm not really sure maybe you will meet a Frank or Frank will be an important person in your life or this may be a random spirit guide who's going to help you but I am picking up that you guys are definitely being led by intelligence during this time but I feel like this is in regards to your own wisdom hello Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Alright. Let's see. That first did it. Alright, do we have any bedtime?
lotion for him? We don't. I just been putting on my lotion. Okay. Hmm. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Sorry for interrupting again. Love you. No, you too. Well, why I say, um, I feel like a lot of you, like, you want to do things differently. I'm picking up on the full card with this, and I do see this as the full card, believe it or not. Um, many of you, it's like you're, you're coming to, you know, realize real friends, false friends, the type of people who you want to associate with, the type of people who you want to let go out of your life. And I feel like a lot of you, like, you're just really over, like, poverty or you're over feeling like a victim i don't know why i'm picking up a strong message to acceptance with this card but i feel the only way for you to receive i guess acceptance from others is if you accept your knowledge and your determination to get things done and for you to realize who you are meant to be um many of you are truly searching for your purpose during this time um i am picking up to some of you you may want to get more pets um or you just want to get one if you don't have one already but um many of you like you want to take care of your family or like a future family like you want to be prepared there's a lot of prepared energy in regards to the wisdom card um so i feel like you know you guys definitely need to trust your instincts most death um but i'm also picking up like you know do your research you know go to school big vibe on going to school um some of you there may be talks of a monk like maybe you want to live like a monk or you want to do practices you know as a monk so that's very interesting all right where do i want to store let's start with what's important for you guys what you guys need to be aware of oh okay so i feel like you know that you need to be careful of things slipping either uh like wardrobe malfunction i believe i said this for the capricorn some of you may, some of you may be dealing with the capricorn or you may have capricorn in your chart um i feel like there's there may be some issues in regards to you and a capricorn for some reason um, i'm also picking up like you guys that it's like you guys have either you dropped the ball or you either you didn't take something seriously or your angels felt like you didn't take something seriously because i feel like things are like you feel like you've been left behind or there's fears of you being left behind um and it's just like you're, you're rushing things now but i feel like with you rushing or you feeling as if you have to rush it's causing for you to seem i'm hearing greedy some of you may seem greedy to others during this time or it's making you seem very tense and antsy and it's like you don't really mean you know any harm to other people but it's just like you're very impatient like you don't have any tolerance to deal with other people and their issues especially in regards to communication and career i do feel like once again there's going to be a lot of frustrations in regards to career um but honestly if you are having some issues with your career i feel like this is for 70 percent of you if you do feel weird it's time for you to like get a new job like just do something totally different from what you're doing right now uh twenty percent of you like you just need a new position within your current career and ten percent of you you just need to just calm the hell down and just be thankful for you know what you have because some of you i, I don't know why that this is just what the angels are telling me ten percent of you are very sure in regards to your career and you're like i'm happy i love what i'm doing you know i'm, I'm just a bit frustrated with family life and work like i can't find a balance but seventy percent of you definitely need a new change definitely do and i feel you know some of you you have the ability to speak your way into things or you need to voice your opinion some of you need um maybe a leader or you know a maybe a motivational speaker type of job 
because my throat just started hurting for some reason some of you you do need to be careful of the things that you say okay please pick and choose your battles during this time i feel like there's going to be issues okay maybe some issues in regards to traveling or wanting to get ahead so some of you there may be some delays you know for some of you it may be some delays i'm reading for a lot of areas so these readings honestly vary I'm also picking up that there's going to be something in regards to bales. Um, maybe you know a bale. Uh, bale in French is beauty, beautiful. Um, so maybe you're really focused on your uh, beauty during this time. Thank you for bathing him. I'm not just saying thank you. I know you're not. No, I'm recording. <laughs> you being funny. Huh? You being funny. What? I saw you being funny. Funny how you say it. No, it's cute. cute. Drinking some tea tastes good. There ain't no tea. Kool Aid. Oh. Uh -huh. You put some water in it. Yeah. Pretty damn good. It ain't, over, it ain't overpowering. <laughs> Before you used to take that and taste the shit, bro, that shit was like syrup. You put too much water in it for me. Girl, you had that much damn sugar at the bottom. So, it's settled. Usually when you make Kool-Aid, you shouldn't see no sugar settling. <laughs> Go on with your white ass. I love you, baby. Whatever, messing up my video. I'm sorry, I didn't mess it up. You could actually have that cute moment in there. I'll be leaving some stuff, but then I'll be editing some. Okay, love you. Mm-hmm, no, you too. Anyway... Okay, what was I saying? I remember I was talking about beauty. Okay, um, some of you people may see you as very vain during this time. Uh, maybe some cocky energy, a bit snobby. I will say that much. Um, but I'm also picking up. You know, some of you you do need to be careful where you step. So watch your step. Uh, you may you know step in some nasty stuff. Who knows? But um, some of you, I, I feel like you know you need to be careful of you overstepping your boundaries in regards to a particular situation. Um, and I'm also picking up uh, like you may you know start fights. But I, I feel like some of you like it really isn't intentional. It's just like it's, you know like when somebody asks you for you know your opinion and it's about somebody else and then like that person overhears it and they're like okay so why are you talking about me hopefully you're catching the storyline okay so i guess you know just be careful of people assuming that you're gossiping about them or maybe you are actually gossiping about them and that may be some issues okay um i was talking about bells i remember i was talking about bells uh there may be something going on with the car horns or you may maybe bells are gonna be like really irritating like just the sound of bells or maybe you might like them it just depends or you may just like randomly hear them and i feel like whenever you randomly like hear bells i don't know i feel like it's a sign for you to like be alert and for you to rise you can take that how you want to all right so let's start with career nice okay so some of you definitely once again a big percentage of you need just new careers i am picking up that many of you it's just like you're being you're being patient or you're trying to be patient with your current job but i feel like you know you are afraid of some fishy business in regards to your career um i am picking up you know that some of you are being treated 
unfairly during this time to be honest i don't know why i feel like either you're looking after somebody or somebody is looking after you like maybe you're training them or somebody is training you and it's just like it's not really meshing because i feel either the person feels like you're doing too much or you feel like you're doing their job at the same time i just feel like you know there's some issues in regards to training or the manager feels like you aren't doing your job properly so it just depends um but on a brighter note, I am picking up that like many of you, you're brainstorming and you're networking yourself during this time. Please be careful of you like playing around um, or you you aren't taking your job seriously. Some of you are, you know, getting some really big insight into like what you need to do through your dreams. Some of you are having weird dreams in regards to like profit and religion and um like institutions um some of you i don't know why i feel like there's a connection to preaching um hopefully like you don't feel like i'm preaching to you maybe you want to become preachers maybe you may start a new relationship with the preacher rather this is a intimate relationship or like a very personal i appreciate you relationship some of you that maybe talks also going back to church okay um i am thinking of that many of you like you are going to receive help in regards to your career i'm picking up like april something something with april 2017 where there's going to be a new beginning for you or you are receiving and you know reaping in the fruits of your labor so try your best not to get so frustrated with career right now like i feel like you guys know it's like you know and you feel like you need to change something or you need to do something but i just feel like you know it's all about you taking that step you guys have like so many ideas on what to do but it's just like start with one okay you have all these ideas up in the air start with one rather and i feel like you know you guys you going back to this whole rushing deal it's like you guys you don't want to go through the hard work i mean yes you don't mind doing it but it's just the thought of having to start all over again and just going through the frustration but if you want something new keyword new you're going to have to get to know it you're going to have to sacrifice a bit of your time or maybe sanity to get things done and i feel like this is the problem for some of you which is you know i mean it happens it happens you know a lot of us we like to see the end results but you know we don't really like to put the hard work in so i feel like you know this month it's just all about like hard work and you gotta work hard to play hard that's all i'm gonna say with that honey i'm just gonna leave it at that oh for a brighter note the movie talks of promotion um some of you it's just i feel like many of you like you may start your dream job this month um or like you're seeing happiness with side jobs like you know you're bringing in fortune through side jobs a beautiful time for uh keeping the energy positive and being thankful for your current job or just wishing for a better job but once again you gotta work hard to play hard so just understand you have to put in them long hours um you got to promote yourself especially if you have like an at-home business or whatever the case may be because i am picking up that many of you you want to become entrepreneurs during this time i also feel like you know relationships may be affecting your work and this may be love relationships family relationships and like maybe you don't feel like yourself and you just want to lay in bed all day so be careful of that for real all right, so let's get to it with love. Love life for you guys. So I'm definitely picking up that many of you, you're, you're breaking free or you're understanding what needs to change in regards to love. It's like you guys are really thinking long term. Many of you, you're ready to settle down or you're coming to realize you know you kind of just want to play the field i am picking up on two vibes right now so let me talk to people who just want to play the field um i do feel you know you, you're trying your best to break away from people especially if you feel like they want more from you please don't lead them on don't lead them on um i'm i did you guys this love reading i think it was yesterday maybe a day and a half ago i can't remember um and i know like there was a lot of tension in regards to love but I feel like you know this month 
wants you to think logically with love because I feel like your emotional side is going to cause you to react impulsively um especially tying into you guys like maybe rushing into things like you feel like you have to like be persistent within something um so just honestly think logically like let's just say like you have a fight with you know your partner and you're like oh my god let me just chill let me not say what I want to say let me not do what I want to do like let me just be the bigger person and calm down I feel like you know there may be talks of walking away whether this is you or the other person but many of you it's like you're putting an end to dishonesty um some of you you know you may find out that your partner is you know talking to other people or maybe your partner is finding out that you're doing this so it just depends um but i do feel you know a lot of you i'm picking up like your your understanding bad traits about yourself and about your partner and some of you want to make it work because i feel like you don't want to see the bad like you you're tired of seeing that constantly it's just like you want to see the good some of you are seeing the benefits of a particular relationship or a uh, or a potential relationship and you want to make it work um i do feel like there's an emotional attachment to someone in particular um but I feel, you know, like there's just issues with either somebody is emotionally unavailable, somebody is too needy, and like there's a bad, there's an imbalancement in regards to that. Honestly, my best advice for you guys is to you know understand if you feel like this relationship is laying you down and if you feel like you like you really don't want to do this anymore don't stay in it i i do see where you guys you know you've been very vulnerable with a particular person and this person has caused some sorrow to you I keep picking up on water elements. So some of you may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, and this may be their sun, their moon, and or their rising. I feel if you just saying, if you are dealing with the water sign, um, they may not necessarily be a water sign. This person may be like very wishy washy. I feel like this person is older or they look older for some reason in their age. Um, I feel like you know, you you feel kind of stabbed in the back to this person in particular and many of you you may decide to cut this person off within the third week of October or you may officially move on from this person within the third week of October but I'm also picking up you know that many of you on a kind of brighter note like you want your partner to be vulnerable to you and you want to be vulnerable to your partner i do feel like many of you like you want to you know what makes your partner tick what makes them happy you know what affected them in their childhood because i keep picking up skeletons in the closet like you want to know their past some of you may be dealing with a virgo because i remember i said a while back um well for a particular month their headline was skeleton full of closets no clo closet full of skeletons i'm sorry i said that backwards closet full of skeletons um okay so with this virgo maybe you feel like things are backwards maybe the roles are being switched to this virgo person or with this virgo person and you can take that how you want to um I feel, you know, some of you, there's issues with wanting perfection, whether this is you or the other person. But I do feel like many of you, it's like you will find justice, whether you decide to leave or you decide to make it work or you decide to take a break, whatever you want to do. I feel like you're going to be able to do what's best for you. But you guys need to be careful of you pulling the wool over your eyes. Be honest with yourself and make sure you're being honest with the other person okay so finances
I feel like in regards to your finances, um, many of you, you need to understand how you are treating your finances. And I don't know why I feel like you need to teach yourself to treat your finances better. Um, I guess like pay your bills, like knowing that you aren't struggling, if that makes sense. Like be appreciative that you have the money to pay your bills. And if you don't have that much money left, just see it as, um, well, I mean, I paid my bills. I'm happy. You know, at least I got that out the way. Um, I don't know why I feel like, um, some of you, you, you may need to talk to accountants during this time. Someone who can help you with your credit. This is going to be a beautiful time for you to teach your children, you know, the value of money or the value of working hard, doing chores. Um, I feel like this is going to increase your finances some way, somehow. Like with you being motherly or fatherly, this is truly going to help you. I also feel like you guys, you know, being outside and just really feeling the element of earth even though you guys are fire signs um you guys are very active and you love to be outside um there's a strong connection to like solid and like rock and root to you guys so there uh, okay root root chakra um try your best to not worry so much about the home I mean, yes, I mean, I, I, I understand you guys are worried about that, but don't. Keep the energy positive. I feel like with you worrying so much, this is affecting the way that you eat and it's affecting your pee. Some of you that maybe talk to urinary tract track infections or kidney stones during this time. Um, I feel, you know, you guys just need to send positive energy to your banking account you know when you pay your bills just say God thank you you know I'm blessed like just keep that positivity in mind when you do this I'm also picking up that if you have a teacher job or a doctor nurse kind of job I feel like there's going to be improvements or like you are really deep with the environment like maybe you have animals you're a vet um your social worker like you you help children i i feel like it's something is in, involved helping i feel like there's going to be a growth or promotion in regards to this like you're going to be very happy and settled when time goes on with finances okay because I'm picking up that like you're receiving karma, like for helping others and allowing for others to emotionally dump on you and to take on other people's karma. Um, God will bless you eventually. Okay, so just wait on it, honey. Just wait it out. I do feel, you know, like there's a connection to a spirit angel i feel like many of you like you're with somebody rather this is a friend or a lover and i feel like you know you feel greatly drawn to this person and this person may be an earth sign capricorn Taurus, and virgo and i feel like this person is younger than you and they i feel like i feel like this is a female like this is this is an earth sign female um and i feel like this is more relationship but this may be a friend a mother um a co-worker what however you want to put it i feel like you know when you are around this person like you just feel motivated to do things you feel motivated to like either please yourself or please them financially like you you just generate money because of the, because of this person i feel like this person is making you better um and i feel like you know there's a strong purple vibe around this person this person that may be a spiritual healer um that may be you know in the spiritual field the spiritual healer um they may be attracted to the color purple they may love lavender um or their name may be iris okay so it just depends or something involving irish root with this person okay um so that's really interesting but you know regardless i i do feel like finances are going to get better for many of you during this time i just feel like you guys need to keep the energy positive okay all right so the way that you will view this month of october 
noise, recognition, and rewards. This is the three of pentacles. Beautiful thing. So, okay, this is going back to this acceptance deal. So some of you, you know, like you may receive acceptance during this time, but I feel like most of all, it needs to come from you. In order for you to receive your blessings or in order for you to acknowledge your blessings all the way, you have to accept you. I feel like, you know, that may, some of you may be, I don't know, like maybe you're thinking about graduating or you're really focused on doing this. Um, you may receive a medal. You may receive uh, employee of the month, employee of the week. But I do feel like there's, like you guys are truly going to see this month very rewarding. To be honest, especially tying into the wisdom card, you know, like with you guys having determination, you know, to get things done. Um, I feel like there's going to be some happiness. I truly, truly do. I'm picking up that some of you, like you may be going to get your, um, you may be uh, going back to school to become a doctor. Some of you. Um, so that's awesome. That's very, very awesome. I'm picking up on a podium. For some reason I'm not really sure why but um you guys are truly going to see this month as a blessing so count your stars and just be thankful so hope you guys enjoyed this reading good luck with everything and I'll be back for November bye